All right, guys, Ghetto Boy 32 here, check it out. So I am uh, sitting out here at one of my absolute favorite ranges over near Lewistown, Pennsylvania, the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. And the last time I saw this guy, I kind of made him an ass myself. He was teaching this really cool DMR class, man. He was running these guys. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know who this is, but uh, he goes by Thomas Source Rex. Rex Reviews, really cool dude, knows how to shoot, you know, beer cans at a mile or whatever. But anyway, let's get back to my story. Don't worry about him. <laughs> So I come out here, he's teaching his DMR class, he's making these guys run up a eight or six or seven degree incline, full kit, the whole deal. You know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. They're over there throwing up. You know, it's not kind of like going through a Dahlonega, Georgia in the October of 88 or 89. But anyway, we'll talk about that later on. So I pull up, I'm thinking they're taking a break and I'm like, <laughs> Rex, all right, here he goes. And all of a sudden he looks at me and I'm like, it was almost being like scolded by the teacher. He he, he didn't do that, but uh, it's kind of like I felt it like that. But uh, in any case, he's up here now uh, doing a class, uh, doing a really neat thing, kind of an introductory class to long range precision, with talking about harmonics, talking about uh, scopes, talking about all the processes then that you have to have in an effort to move up to that long range. So if yeah. you, guys, uh, without, without further ado, and I'm gonna shut up real quickly because we're a minute 36 into this video. This is Rex. Howdy, nice to meet you guys. Rex, I, I, and you know, it was really cool because uh, he gave me a phone call uh, out of the blue. And I got my number from our good friend. Uh, what's that dude that, that works for that company? He's part <laughs> of I Shoot Their Scopes. You guys probably know it's uh, Primary Arms. And uh, he and Demetri are pretty good friends, and then they got us in contact. And one thing led to another. Hey, man, uh, I came up here to watch what was going on, and it was an eye-opening experience and a lot of fun. And I will tell you this. I've been to several classes, but your approach to the class was from a more of an intellectual, uh, scientific approach. And that's sure. one of the things. So if you would, just uh, I know some of these people might be interested in taking a look at some of that stuff. Give a real quick rundown of the curriculum that you have okay. basically on the – the uh, zero hundred zero yeah. to deadly. Go ahead. So this particular course that uh, you saw today was the RX one hundred zero to deadly. Mm -hmm. So it's a marksmanship centered course primarily, but we also talk about all the other. You know, if you think about a, a precision rifle, more than half that system, in fact, like probably ninety percent of that system is us. We're the loosest nut behind the gun. Mm -hmm. So getting our game squared away, how to interface with the rifle properly, how to properly interface the rifle and us with the ground firing position analysis. Uh, we go into all that. We get the ergonomics squared away on the weapon, uh, get everything you know properly adjusted on the optics, show people how the optic works. We talk about the mechanics of the system, the rifle, but including the shooter and how the shooter interfaces with it, not only physically, but also psychologically and everything else, right? And so, nah, it's pretty hardcore. We have fun. But <laughs> I'll tell you this, one of the coolest parts, I, I joined in on the second day. I didn't shoot. I just kind of observed. Uh, one of the most, the most unique things is I, I watched a, a, young, a lady, and she cleaned just about everybody's clock in one of the little uh, <laughs> they exercises. They always do that. It was awesome, man. I was like, yeah, I was cheering her on. But uh, in any case, when you shoot 12-gauge uh, shotgun shells at 100 yards and you have to hit the brass tip of it, uh, five times in a row in order to move on to the next little series. That was impressive. It really was. Yeah, it was, was. fun. And she was fast on target, too. She she had it down. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we discover so many things each class, but one thing we discovered on this one is that a lot of times if you overthink the kinesthetics of shooting, you screw it up. Mm -hmm. So you just got to keep it simple, and you just got to lay down behind the rifle and shoot it. Yep. Once you know what you're supposed to do. And so there's a checklist that eventually becomes like, subconscious like riding a bicycle yeah and so that's what we try to get them to the point of here is get them, get them enough rounds down range to where they can kind of be comfortable with going through the process subconsciously and then once they got that part down that's the foundation and long range you just add external ballistics to it and it's easy money there it is so yeah. it was really interesting to watch but then we watched walked up to the range and uh, got to look down onto the shooting locations. And again, that goes to where you guys were. You were hustling those guys up the ridge. Yeah. And they were it's humbling to, when you get up to the 1,000-yard line. Yeah, and they're drinking the, the nasty green water. 
if you ever go to one of his classes, make sure you bring your life straw with you. Yes. So anyway, uh, I actually put him behind the wheels of the uh, Creed Zilla. Yeah. Which was uh, like okay, so I didn't get any pictures of it though. But anyway, that's all right. And uh, but we had a blast, a blast. And I just want to say thank you so much for inviting me out and being oh, yeah. able to uh, share this experience with you guys. And also, uh, if you're not subscribed, which I'm sure if you're watching this channel, Rex Reviews, we'll put the link down below. And uh, if you're subscribed to his channel, you know. Absolutely. Get on over here. This guy's a real good cat. I try to be, man. All right, so guys, <laughs> that's it. Uh, again, thanks to Dimitri, who works for that company out there in Texas. Um, uh, primary Arms. Uh, and I, yeah, okay. So with that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to T-Rex or Rex, what are you going by these days? T-Borosaurus Rex, I think, is what I ended up calling it a long time ago. Sniper 101 yeah. is what got me into this mess. You're to blame. <laughs> Let's go to Boy 32. Sorry. I'm out. You guys be good.